going towards the front side of like L5 transverse process. So this is easy to be really accurate with our palpation because we have good bony landmarks, you guys. So what I do is I palpate for the, the lowest transverse process iliac crest junction I can find and I keep my fingertip right on the tip of the transverse process. Now we have an exact visual reference. It's like, okay, if your finger is there, all I gotta do with my first needle is I want it to go right in underneath my finger, in front of my finger. And that's the first needle I do. And then from there, I just walk needles backwards until I end up with a multifidus needle. If you're going for psoas and you hit iliac crest, totally fine. You just haven't gotten to the psoas because the psoas doesn't attach to iliac crest. So it's on the inside. It's not considered a true pelvic floor muscle, you guys, but it totally could be because it's like, the, it's almost like the base of the back of the pelvis there. So it's a really, really important muscle. And again, we're never gonna mess with it up here because there's kidneys and lungs and stuff up here. So the needles are always gonna be going in like inferior medial and a little bit posterior if you wanna think about it like that. But again, if the lungs are here, I always want the needle going away from the stuff I don't want hit.